we have a duty to defend our people, if not through diplomatic means, then through the force of arms. The diplomatic window may be short, but it's still open. Three months ago today, on October 6, Hamas in Gaza was preparing its forces to carry out one of the most brutal and barbaric attacks in history, the Hamas massacre of October 7th. On October 8, Hezbollah, Iran's proxy in Lebanon, joined into the war started by Hamas. When Hezbollah began attacking Israel from our border in the north, Israel has been responding and will continue to respond forcefully to Hezbollah's aggression. Hezbollah is dragging Lebanon into an unnecessary war for the sake of Hamas. Hezbollah is seeking an escalation despite the unwanted destruction it could bring to the people of Lebanon. In addition to the unnecessary suffering it's already bringing to the people of southern Lebanon. And for what? For the sake of Hamas, Hezbollah is putting the future of the region at risk, all for the sake of Hamas. But here's something that Hezbollah and all of Iran's proxy should never forget. When it comes to existential threats, Israel regards every day as though it's October 6, so that the Hamas massacre of October 7th never happens again on any one of our borders. We have a duty to defend our people, if not through diplomatic means, then through the force of arms. The diplomatic window may be short, but it's still open. To those dragging the region into an unnecessary escalation, our message is clear. The people of Israel, the people of Gaza, the people of Lebanon, and indeed the entire region deserve a future of peace, progress, and prosperity, and not the death and destruction that Hamas and Hezbollah seek. Mm -hmm.